In this video, I want to take you through some of the tools here that I have for working with bones and creating uh, bone chains and stuff. Uh, so real quickly, I'm just going to create some points here to help me illustrate how these tools work. Okay, so the first tool here is connect multiple objects with stretch bones and then align the objects or use the objects as up nodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's not really that explanatory. But what I'm going to do is here I'm going to select. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into paint select mode just easier. So I'm going to select these points here. And I'm just going to run this script. Now, uh, you can see that it pops up with a naming convention tool here. I can name these uh, bones with, you know, the name and then a part. So, like, I could say... Uh, player uh, left arm let's just say I don't know say done so now these these bones will stretch in between these uh, points as you can see also if I rotate the bones or the points the bones will rotate with them okay so that's that's that tool now I've also got connect multiple objects with stretch bone system so I can do the same thing like so it's the exact same tool exact same uh, thing as you can see if I move these right but if I rotate them they don't rotate so they're not based on using these objects as up nodes okay just using the world uh, as an up node now you can see um, right here I've got connect two objects with the bone so I can select the first object double click this or you know hotkey whatever and then a rubber band to the second bone and it now connects these two objects oh no it doesn't it creates a bone that is between these two objects that you can use in any way you want um, now the exact same tool except with a stretch bone system it'll connect these two like so so now if I move these points that bone is basically constrained between them. Okay, so let's do that, and now I'm going to create one more here. Now this tool connects two objects with stretch bone system, and then pick up nodes. So I select that, the first object, the root, double click, and I pick the second object. Then I pick the up node. Okay, so now if I zoom in on this nice and close, you can see I can move this up and down, and this is also the up node control. I'm just basically trying to save you time because I know it can be a real pain in the butt to have to do a lot of these things over and over and over again. And then the reason I included the naming is so that, you know, I can't tell you how many times I get stuff from people and they're named stupidly or they're named, you know, the typical Bono 1, Bono 2, Bono 3. Okay, yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. Now I got to spend time renaming all your stuff. Don't like it. So, uh, the next one here is create HI bone chain from selection. So all it's doing is creating a bone chain from a selected set of objects. So here are these four points. You know, let's do, let's get a little crazy on here. I just want to show you how easy it can be to create uh, a bone system here. So you know, let's just do like that. Okay. So there's my bone system, right? So I'm going to select these in the order that I want to create this bone chain, and I'm going to double click on this. Okay. Uh, so let's say there's a project that was working. It'll remember the last things you type. So this is the last project I was working on. So let's say orca tail. Okay. I can change the uh, bone size. What did I do? <laughs> okay. I don't know what I just did. Somehow I said done. Uh, okay. So let's delete that. Let's do that again. I guess I hit that button a little too quickly. All right. Double click. As I said, you can change the bone size if you want. And once you're done, you just hit done. Now what it has done is it's created this bone chain. Now I can it selects all the objects that I used to create it and I just hit delete. If you look at the names, you can see how they are named. So I've got the parent of the whole chain. Uh, actually let's do this sub let's play subtrain. I got the parent, which is the parent of the whole chain, and then the root, which is the very first bone that I'm using for my base of uh, angles and stuff. So, you know, that is uh, 
um, where I can zero out my controls to and get it back to normal. Okay. Um, so let's say you know I've got my two skull objects, and then the very end bone is a nub, as you can see. Okay. So now I've got this bone chain that I can work with. All right. Um, now I'm going to show you something else here real quick. I want to show you how the next one works. All right. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to link it to this object because that's my up note. I'll explain why in a moment. So let's select these in order. I'm going to create a bone chain again and say done. I'm already happy with that. And I'm not going to delete this last one. This is going to be my, my uh, controller at the end of the chain. So I'm going to go ahead and use the next tool called create HIIK chain. Kind of obvious what it means. I'm going to, oh, I should leave that on. So I'm going to select the first bone and I'm going to double click that and select the end bone. Okay. Now it's going to tell me pick the root of the chain, which is this object right here. So I'm going to say, okay. And I'm going to pick the root. And now pick the control object at the end of the chain, which is this helper here. It could be anything, but it's this helper. Okay. Now pick the master up node, which is this. Now it creates everything else in between. Um, so remember I linked that to that. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I linked it to the wrong thing. So we're going to link that to this as well. Uh, this can be like a point that's part of the main character, what have you. But as you can see now, I have control over that. I also have control over the up node, the swivel control. I usually hide all the other stuff I don't need. And one of the things that I thought came in real handy when I was working on this project uh, a while back was I added an error display. So if you get too far, the further away you go, the, more bi the bigger this red object will get. So the moment you see that that's red, that means the entire chain has been hyperextended or extended and is no longer touching the IK um, target. So you know if you do that, it's too far. It's already completely stretched out. So you can back it up a little bit and make sure that the character is not, you know, um, stretching too far further than the character is allowed to reach. Okay. So that's it for those tools. Um, well, I've got one more. Um, this one right here. All this does is it creates a duplicate bone that is attached to that original bone. Position and orientation constraint to it comes in handy when you use it for a, a bone or something else uh, it's there for you to use if you need it and that's it for the bones tools